Hey everybody, Joshua here. I had a request to do a tutorial for Sufjan Stevens' Kazmir Pulaski Day. I originally recorded this, I had rented this beautiful old uh, Mason Hamlin BB, big old grand piano, and I walled off part of my living room <laughs> to create a studio, and that's what I recorded my album on uh, a few years ago. It was a different album than the Yumi 2016. I did an album called uh, Broken Hearts on a Broken, Broken Piano because I hadn't gotten into um, fixing or tuning pianos yet, and I, I rented this piano, and I didn't look at it closely, and I didn't realize that the uh, frame was actually cracked on it. So it had a beautiful sound, but it didn't stay in tune because all the tension was always pulling on that cracked frame. And um, the guy I rented it from, he was pretty good about coming and, tu and tuning it regularly for me. Anyway, you don't care about that. <laughs> Let's talk about how to play uh, how to play this tune. I've been going over the chords in the background here. So we got E flat, D flat, B flat minor seven. You could just keep that D flat on the top, the D flat chord with the B flat in the bass, and then A flat. Those are the basic chords. Not a whole lot of modif modifiers there. So, take a look at some of these voicings I'm doing to make it sound a little more interesting. There's kind of a fourth built voicing. Uh, in other words, the notes are all fourth apart. So I've got my ninth, my fifth, and my root again. There's D flat, adding a ninth, making some E flat, F, C, making kind of like some crush notes in there. You can always hold something in your right hand over the B flat to see if you like that voicing too. So I will make a comment about my arrangement. Um, I'm just kind of going over these four chords. Um, but if you listen on the recording at the very end, it ch the progression changes a little bit. So if you want to be more accurate to the recording, instead of going to the A minor, or excuse me, A flat, it goes F minor seven. as opposed to very similar chords A flat major F minor 7 so it's just a little bit of uh, kind of like t uh, tone kind of uh, feeling color maybe a little bit of color change but if you want to be more accurate to the recording uh, use that F minor 7 in there and I'll go ahead and talk about that when I get to that part so so we got the four chords melody pretty much follows the chords there's the voicing I like D flat we got the major third fifth B flat E flat So more or less the verse is there. I'm, I apologize, I'm kind of, sometimes I'm hitting the wrong note because I'm just kind of playing by ear. And uh, this one, it's not quite in my fingers. I don't play it regularly, but 
Uh, I hope you can at least get some of the notes from me going over the chords. And then we have the... So that part, you know, the very last time to change the, the sound and the feeling of it. So instead of going to the A flat, go to the F minor 7, like I mentioned before. So, um... I'm really going playing around in my version with those four chords, and I've got a little bit of that kind of the, the groove. Kind of playing around with the outline of that chord. You can play that A flat major seven in there if you wanted. So it's really going to be up to you to build and shape the, the arrangement or whenever you're playing it for yourself, you know, just kind of forget those chords set first so you know where you're going. So you don't have to really think about it. You know, the a, E flat, D flat, B flat minor, and then A flat major. Um, you know, I'm adding some notes. Uh, what I One of the things I really like doing is taking a chord. There's the basic E flat chord, right? Okay, let's modify it a little bit, make it sound a little bit different. Um, Here's my basic triad. What if I change, I'm already playing this note in left hand. There's a suspended sound. There's a sixth sound, what does that sound like? You know, and then I'm getting some crush notes in there and they're closer together. You know, you can also spread your voicings out. There's a major seven, there's a different kind of sound. I'm not always nailing it with those licks, so sorry, this is a little more, uh, this is kind of a, a relaxed tutorial. But I, I do want you to like look at some of these things and, and, you know, at your keyboard or your piano at home, kind of find the sounds that you like. You know, think about the energy and uh, the tone of what you're playing too. You know, when I go up here, what does that feel like? When I play down here, what does that feel like? When Sufjan replaces the A flat major with that F minor seven, but continues the little melody line, you know, going, what does that feel like? How does that feel different, you know? And then, you know, one of the helpful things for me is record, record yourself playing it. You know, once you've kind of figured out a little bit of how you like it, play it and then see if, you know, sometimes it's hard to get out of your head while you're thinking about playing a piece and then see what it sounds like. And does this, you know, capture the emotion of the, of the piece when I play it?
And you know every piano is going to sound a little bit different too. So uh, I'm I'm playing in my at my desk upstairs in my house, and I'm on my keyboard with a pair of headphones on. And you know these voicings sound the way they sound on this this little this software piano. And uh, you know if if you have an upright or a grand at home or a keyboard at home, and you're listening through speakers, the voicings you pick are going to sound a little bit different as well. But I hope it's given you some ideas to go off of for that. Beautiful, beautiful song. I was uh, on a road trip with some friends to go hear, I think, Bright Eyes. I think we we're going to go see Bright Eyes. This is back in college. And uh, I had never heard Sufjan Stevens before. And my friend was playing it. And I remember, you know, when the build in this song came up, I was like, what is this song? What is this music? It was I, like, I had, I guess this reflects on my lack of exposure to different types of music, but I had never heard anything like it before. And I, you know, I don't know if you ever capture that moment and try to remember that moment when you hear a really good song for the first time. A lot of Nick Drake's songs are like that for me. You know, like the first time I heard, um, like day is done <clears throat> or even pink moon the first time i heard pink moon on oh gosh this is embarrassing but again uh exposure to music but I, I you know i heard it like on the vw bug commercial or whatever where they're driving at night and i went and i googled you know vw commercial song or something like that and i found nick drake and i remember i just like listened over and over and over again to pink moon and it's just like who writes this kind of where did this come from you know a lot of Elliot Smith's music makes me feel that way so I want you to take what it is about this song and uh, do it for yourself and uh, take the parts of my arrangement that you like and uh, try to copy them or use them and throw out the stuff you don't like, you know? But anyway, and uh, it's all a lifetime undertaking, like playing music and uh, connecting with music of the other people written. So don't feel like you have to accomplish everything all at once. I am, I am rambling. So thank you all for watching. Big thank you to my patrons for supporting this channel, and uh, I will see you all next time.